Hey guys, welcome back to Voice Bootcamp. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an admin profile where you can create and edit your profile so that others in your organization can easily find you and connect, connect with you. So sometimes you may need to even update the profile because in individuals maybe uh, information may change. So let's go ahead and show you how we go about to do this. So we're gonna choose the individual. So go to people. So on the top left, you see this little, and you see the admin. This is the individual who's right now logged in. And you can see some of the informations right here. You can go to preference, enable some of those preferences. So I'm gonna do is change the logo of the individual. So this is obviously not me. So let's go ahead and put one of my pick. Okay, here is the devilishly handsome looking man <laughs> you're looking at. So I'm just gonna go and choose this picture and that becomes an angry looking man right here who's recording this genesis for you. All right, so I'll go ahead and choose and upload this picture and this has now become my profile picture, okay? Now obviously you can define the username, something like what's in mind. I need a vacation that is on my mind. Uh, you can see the role, right? And then of course here you see groups. I'm, I'm currently belong to these groups as we have created. Uh, this is just a mail account that I have. I can change that information, main account. I'm not gonna touch that, this is admin account. So let's say you wanna uh, provide some phone number. I am in Canada right now. So I will provide 647-904-5022 and save. All right. You can see your, uh, I can assign myself uh, into a group. As you can see, there are some official groups that I've created. I can add a section. So let's say location. Okay, so now here's my location. I can add a new location, Toronto, Canada. Okay, so location is not defined right now. But if I do have it, I should be able to add it here. One of the things that you may want to add here or include things are like skills and certification. So you may want to list a profile of skills. So let's say I have a skills in Cisco. I have skills in uh, collaboration and contact center. Maybe data networking. These are some of my skills, right? These are, I'm not talking about uh, contact center skills, uh, uh, queue skills. These are skills related to like, what is your qualification, right? Uh, janitor, yes, I do clean my office from time to time. And the certification, well, I use, I have completed two CCIEs, right? So you can set to CCIE routing searching. Although I, I've not uh, kept up with it, but I do have, uh, I had those certifications. And you can keep adding up all the certifications that you have. Uh, these are sometimes uh, useful for other people to search within your organization. Maybe, for example, let's say uh, one of the vice president is looking at and goes, hey, I'm looking for someone within my organization who may have uh, CCNP certifications, right? Um, just to give you a heads up, like CISSP, uh, this is one, uh, by the way, I do not have CISSP. Just want, I just wanted to type that as an example. Uh, to show you what I, what I meant by that, let's say somewhere, if your organization is really big and one of your vice president or uh, HR is looking for someone with the CISSP skills, they could actually search for someone with that skills and all the people with those skills will be then listed. So this is why you want to update all these settings. All right, so skills been updated and you uh, can customize all these settings as you can see uh, these are some of the group that i currently own and these are some of the group that are official into the system all right now again we'll learn how to customize this more uh, more more in details as we go through this course so until uh, in this particular video that's all i want to show you of how you can create an admin profile